Hi everybody, I know, I'm ranting again! <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, as you guys can see from the title, I'm super excited about this topic today. Um, slut shaming, again, again, oh my god, I love society so much that this is another topic that I have to talk about. So, after I posted my last video, which was kind of like, um, what did I call it, the birds and the bees? Um, after I posted my last video called the birds and the bees, when I talked a little bit about my dating life and about how I think it's ridiculous that people sexualize me for my photos, I got a lot of different comments from it. First of all, can I say, like, when I post those videos, I'm not asking to, for you to, like, propose to, that we date. I didn't post that video so that guys would be like, I would date you, I would kiss you, I would do this. Cool. Um, no, thank you. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna stay single till now, but thanks for the offer. Yeah. Okay, a little off topic, but anyways, let's let's go back. So, I got a lot of really positive feedback from a lot of different women that were saying that they struggle with the same thing. Um, I also got a lot of negative feedback from men saying that that's ridiculous, that I should be sexualized because I'm putting my body out there. So, I'm asking for it. And my response each and every time was when somebody said, oh, well, you're putting those photos up, you're asking to be sexualized. I was like, so if I wear a short skirt to the bar, am I asking to be raped? Oh, and man, did they go off. Did they go off. But that's not the topic of conversation. I want to talk about slut shaming because, again, yet again, I saw another Facebook post. And some of you will know what I'm talking about because I commented on said Facebook post. I saw another Facebook post that was calling girls out for post posting photos in their underwear in on Instagram. I'm actually going to grab my phone to read it. Okay. It says, Dear ladies, this one goes out to you. What goes through my mind... What goes through your mind, sorry, when you post half-naked photos of yourself all over the internet? Tell me how any guy is ever going to be with someone who posts pictures for the world to see. You will never have a, pit, a respectable relationship and no man will ever look at you as more than an object. Show some respect for yourself and seek attention other ways. Seek attention other ways, eh? Just like you are by posting that status and being a bigot. Just because you're a man does not mean you have any right to tell me what to do with my body. And this goes out for the girls commenting on that. Because the fact is, is I saw girls commenting on that saying, Oh, I agree with you. Yeah, like, fuck those hoes. Like, these girls are such skanks. Like, how dare they do that? Like, what must their parents think? What business of it is yours what their damn parents think? And I'm sorry, like, I understand, like, and some of you may comment, and I've had this before, where people post a Facebook photo post like that, and I've commented, and they're like, well, we're not talking about you. No, 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 but you're generalizing. I post photos half-naked, but oh, wait. Oh, wait. Because I've been doing it long enough that I now have a following on Instagram, it's okay, and it makes it different. How are those girls not doing anything that I was doing when I first started? Because when I first started, those Facebook posts were about me. So now that I've actually made something of myself, those Facebook posts aren't of me? Oh, right. That are saying these girls need to get brought down back to earth, saying that these girls have no respect, saying that these parents must be so disappointed. I have had that, guys comments that make those comments on these Facebook posts, then ask me on a date why I didn't want to go on a date with them. But why? But why? But why? Why are you trying to convince me differently for being on a date with you? Why can't I just not go on a date with you? Why can't I just post those photos on Instagram when I want? Why can't I just be a slut if I want to be a slut? Oh wait, it's because I'm a girl. It's because I'm a girl. Because I have a vagina, instead of where I would have a penis, I'm not allowed to do what I want. I'm not allowed to do what I want with my body, I'm not allowed to show who I want my body, and I'm not allowed to say no. Please explain that to me. Please make a comment about why you think it's okay to speak to women like that. If you don't want to date me because I post half-naked photos on Instagram, then don't fucking date me. But last time I checked, I didn't want to date somebody that has such disrespectful ideas about women. If you think that I can't post what I want on Instagram because it means I have no self-respect, my parents must not love me, I must have some other kind of messed up issue in my head, you need to get educated. You think that I literally don't have an education because I post half-naked photos on Instagram? That is absolute crap. I must have low self-confidence and I must not respect myself enough to not to cover up what if me respecting myself and what if the kind of respect that I give myself is me being like fuck yeah look at me I'm hot as shit look at my what if that is me respecting my body what if my idea of 
looking pretty and feeling sexy is me wearing a low cut shirt. Does that mean that I deserve to get raped? Oh no, 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 but they're not talking about rape, so that doesn't count, that doesn't count. No, but if I post a half naked photo on Instagram, it means I have no respect for myself and I don't deserve respect because who dare would respect a girl that posts half naked in their underwear? <laughs> oh my God. Last time I checked, my self-respect is none of your damn business. If I don't like myself, then let me deal with that. If that means that I'm posting half-naked photos on Instagram, just be happy that I'm posting half-naked photos on Instagram. I'm sorry, but if you don't want to see a girl posting half-naked photos on Instagram, then why do you A, add her on Facebook, or B, add her on Snapchat, or C, follow her on Instagram? Because honey, honey, I guarantee you that she was not the one adding you following you or starting a conversation with you. I guarantee because the guy that made that status was the one that added me. And then I guarantee you that you're the one following those people. So please explain to me why you think it's okay to be judgmental, but yet still get off from their photos. Like, bitch, if you're not going to support me, don't jerk off to my photos. That's just wrong. You're the ultimate hypocrite. Or, why do you continue to have me on social media after you see the photos after that? If I don't ask you your opinion of a photo when I put it up, if I don't ask you, hey, is this too sexualized? Then don't give me your opinion. And no, no, for all you people saying out there that your opinions give me money, your opinions do not give me money. Not at all. Your me modeling has nothing to do with your opinion. Me modeling is me being good at a job. Me modeling is me fucking killing it in front of a camera, not you giving me money. I'm sorry, but your opinion does not give me money. You could hate me and I would still be modeling. You could love me and I'd still be modeling. It doesn't matter because your opinion does not granted my paychecks and it doesn't. So for those guys out there that are sitting there going, well, if I didn't like you, you wouldn't be getting paid. Hell yeah, honey, I would because still, if I wasn't getting paid because you didn't like me, I would be getting paid because you didn't like me because I am good at a job. Last time I checked, me being good at a job has no warrant about your opinion because you're not my boss or the one writing my check, are you? Right. And like, I know I'm generalizing right now. And I know I generalize a lot and I come across as a lot of, I don't, I don't hate men. I don't hate men. I love men. I think men are great. And I think they're, a lot of them are douchebags, but I don't hate men. There's women out there that are just as judgmental and just as judgmental on Facebook posts like that. Honey, if you don't want to see it, don't look. I didn't ask you to look and I'm not asking you to look now. But if you have me on Facebook, why do you have me on Facebook if you know that's what I'm doing? I didn't ask for your permission and I didn't ask you to be like, hey, I'm going to add her on Facebook. I didn't also ask for you to post that Facebook photo. I'm sorry, but last time I checked, why does it, one photo anger you so much to a point where you're literally like, I have to write about this. This girl's such a slut. She's such a whore. She's such, she's this. Are you really like, I'm, I'm not going to talk about your insecurities because that's not my place, but do you really, really think that you posting a Facebook status about me is going to make me stop? No, because last time I checked, my parents are extremely proud of me. And yes, yes, they are. They are extremely proud of me. My friends are extremely proud of me, but most importantly, I am extremely proud of myself. And if you don't want to date me because I post half-naked photos on Instagram, you're lost, honey. You see how good I look on those photos on Instagram. You see how good I look in those photos on Facebook. So if you don't want to date me because of how good I look on Instagram and that makes you insecure and makes your penis feel this little big, then don't because I never asked you to because last time I checked, I want a man that can handle that. I want a man that's going to say, that's my babe, that's my girl, she looks hot as hell. And if that's not you, I'm sorry, then take your little <coughs> elsewhere because I don't want to deal with it. I don't. And for any guy out there that is like dating a girl that's trying to stop her from modeling, get out. Like, get out. Like, who are you to tell a girl what to do? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? I'm so for those guys out there that make those Facebook statuses, do me a favor or do the girls that you have on Facebook a favor. Delete them on Facebook and then make that status so that you're not intriguing this argument because this argument is going to constantly happen because last time I checked, even if I was, I literally could be the world's most unfit person. I could be the world's, I don't know, I literally could be what, in your opinion, is not attractive and as long as I'm confident in what I look like, I'm going to post photos on Instagram all I want. If that means that I'm going to post Instagram photos that make you uncomfortable because you don't like the way I look, then don't look.
don't look. I never asked you to look. So stop slut shaming me because last time I checked, if I want to be a slut, I'm going to be a slut. If I want to post photos on Instagram, I'm going to post photos on Instagram. So fuck you, fuck your ideas. Delete me on Facebook, or better yet, don't add a girl that posts half-naked photos on Facebook or Instagram if you're just going to bitch about it later.